Cystitis is inflammation of the bladder typically caused by a bacterial infection, also referred to as a urinary tract infection or UTI. Non-infectious cystitis can occur due to chemical irritants such as those found in chemotherapy drugs or from radiation exposure. Interstitial cystitis is caused by chronic bladder inflammation without a clear cause and is more common in women. Untreated UTIs can lead to severe complications like pyelonephritis and sepsis. Pyelonephritis is infection of the kidneys that can cause kidney failure. Sepsis is a life-threatening systemic response to infection that can result in organ failure. Infectious cystitis usually starts when bacteria, most commonly Escherichia coli, enter the bladder through the urethra, adhere to the bladder wall, and multiply. This triggers the body's immune response, causing inflammation and swelling of the bladder lining. Several risk factors increase the likelihood of developing cystitis. Women are particularly susceptible due to their shorter urethra and its proximity to the anus. Other risk factors include pelvic organ prolapse, enlarged prostate, recurrent kidney stones, urinary catheterization, hormonal changes during menopause, poor hygiene habits, sexual intercourse, diabetes mellitus, and neurogenic bladder, which leads to incomplete bladder emptying. Symptoms of cystitis include urinary frequency, urgency, dysuria, hematuria, foul-smelling or cloudy urine, and lower abdominal pain. Additional symptoms can involve nausea, vomiting, and general malaise. In older adults, a change in mental status may be the only symptom indicating a urinary tract infection. To diagnose cystitis, healthcare providers typically perform a urinalysis to check for white blood cells, red blood cells, leukocyte esterase, or bacteria in the urine. If infection is suspected, a urine culture is often ordered to identify the most effective antibiotic. For recurrent cases, imaging studies like bladder ultrasound, KUB CT scan or cystoscopy may be used to detect structural abnormalities. Common medications prescribed for cystitis include antimicrobials such as trimethoprim, sulfimbethoxazole, ciprofloxacin, levofloxacin, amoxicillin, cefadroxil, cefixim, or nitroferantoin. Bladder analgesics such as phenazopyridine may be prescribed for pain. Antispasmodics such as hyoscyamine may be prescribed to alleviate bladder spasms and reduce urgency and frequency of urination. Nursing interventions for cystitis focus on educating patients about the importance of completing prescribed antibiotics, recognizing symptoms of pyelonephritis, and avoiding bladder irritants like caffeine, alcohol, and spicy foods. Effective perineal hygiene practices are promoted to prevent bacteria from entering the urethra, like wiping from front to back after bowel movements and urinating after intercourse. Clients are also encouraged to drink 6 to 8 glasses of water every day to help flush bacteria from the urinary tract and dilute the urine, as well as regularly emptying their bladder. Substances that acidify the urine, such as cranberry juice, can be consumed to help prevent recurrent infections. Comfort measures, such as using a heating pad or warm compress, are described for alleviating discomfort. Evaluating the effectiveness of nursing interventions involves reviewing expected outcomes, such as resolution of the infection, effective treatment of symptoms, and prevention of recurrent infections. If these outcomes are not met, the nursing care plan is revised accordingly.